I guess a lot of guys were saying the same thing, that they want to put the Florida State game behind them, but is it easier said than done? You know, you guys are saying it, but it's still burning a little bit. That, yeah, you know, man, it's going gonna, it's gonna to always burn, you know. Uh, it hurt, it's, still, it's still hurting us all. I don't know good as wrong, it's still hurting us, but we got to move forward because we got a long season ahead of us. And uh, we can't do nothing about it, we can't take nothing back. I'm going to do it move forward. What do you guys do to bring some of this passion back? I know you guys have to have it in. You guys are football players. That's something you guys embedded as you guys were playing Pop Warner. How do you guys get that back? You know, you just gotta, you gotta. I mean, you, I mean we all make mistakes, you know. Um, and football, you gotta, you gotta put the past behind you. You gotta just keep moving because, like they say, um, nobody, nobody forgets um, November. So you gotta finish out strong in November, and that's all we can do. How did it feel to get back in there? I felt good, man. I was, I was excited to be out there. I was really excited. How do you How do you think you did? Seemed like you brought a little spark. I feel like I did. I feel like I did all right. I feel like I did okay. Did you feel, Did you feel fresh just because you haven't been you know taking a beating yeah, much? Yeah, I felt real fresh. Yep. A any pain at all? Uh, no pain. Cutting there. No pain. Uh, and both your your knee and was your ankle ankle banged up no, too? No, my ankle. Everything good. Everything good. Talk about the frustrate. I mean, you made the return the first game, then you had to sit out. You know, how about that frustrating? Because I know you worked hard to get back into the mix. You, what you say? You, you played the first one. You know, you got in there in the beginning yeah. of the year, and then you had to sit out again. Uh, just talk about that frustrating to come oh, all the way back. It was real frustrating. Um, I felt like I had no luck, you know, coming back and hurting my ankle the first game. But you know, everything happened for a reason. I felt like God was telling me that I need to sit out a little, couple more weeks just to get ready, and I felt I feel a whole much better, I mean, a whole lot more better now than I did then. Did you, did you consider it all the red shirt? I mean, just no. I worked too hard to think about some red shirt. Mm -hmm. So you, no matter what, you were going to play? You, you were going to fight I, back? I just know how I work. I know how I work, and I knew I was going to um, be back. I wanted to prove A lot of people say I was going to be back this year, and I wanted to prove them wrong. You feel like you can make a big impact on this team? I know you're limited role right now, but, you know, yeah. moving forward, feel like you can yes. be back to where you were doing earlier? Yep. Have, you see Coach, Coach, sorry. Coach Shannon told you, or do, do you think you're going to get a little bit more play this week? Um, yeah, he told me. He told me just be patient. You know, um, I trust him, and um, I just got to. We just got to be smart. You know, um, so yeah, he told me just be patient, and uh, it's going to come. So that's all I'm doing. What's playing at Duke been like the past couple of years, or the past, you know the past couple of times? Playing against Duke or at Duke? At, at Duke and against Duke. I only played at Duke once. But, um, what was that like? It's, you got to come out and play. Um, Duke a good team. They're going to come to play against us, and we can't overlook them. We can't overlook nobody. So um, we just got to come focus and put out, like I, like I say, put our pads behind us and just keep moving forward and um, just get ready for Duke. Why is it those guys always seem to play you guys tough, man? man everybody <laughs> plays us tough when they come play against the U. So um, we just got to think like that. We got to keep that mindset that nobody's coming to um, – just give um, lay down against us. Everybody did come to play against us. Who would you assess that you've been on the sideline, kind of watching the offense the last few games? How would you assess what or what did you notice about your your offense? Um, we just got to stay focused, man. Like I say, man, we just got to stay focused, keep working. That's all we can do. Are you guys being more vocal at all on the team this week? Um, yeah, a whole lot more. Um, you know. Um, we just got, man, like I said, man, we got to keep working, man. That's all I can. That's all that I can't stress it no more. And we got to keep working and keep moving forward because we, we still in it and we um, got a long season ahead of us. When you say guys be more vocal, what do you what do you see? Is it pulling guys aside? Is it being loud in practice? You know, be showing that leadership? How, how are they maybe being more vocal? Yeah, being loud, um, showing that leadership, like getting on guys because um, we got to stay on each other. And um, we can't get too relaxed. You just gotta keep moving forward. Are you one of those guys doing it? Yeah. Anybody else? Who are some of the other guys that are that you notice have sort of stepped it up, been more vocal? Damian Bear. Uh, I, I don't know the defense because they don't want to deal fear from us. But uh, Orlando Franklin, the whole almost the whole whole line, like they they been on vocal. So I mean, so there's a couple guys. I mean, I don't just look at somebody and say, oh, he vocal. But, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's been it's been everybody been getting on everybody. Well, so you so you feel there's been a change since the yeah. FSU game? Yeah. How much do you guys need that? We need it a lot, man. We um can't like you can't get too relaxed, man. You can't you can't settle for nothing. You gotta you gotta stay you gotta keep grinding no matter what. 
So well, is that specifically true, you know, for you a little bit, not only for the team, but for what you've been through in terms of your grind, getting back healthy and getting back on the field? What's, what do you mean? Like in terms of, like, the work you've had to put in. I'm saying, like, what's your question, though? You ask me. What's, what's your question? Then that in terms of, you know, you said yeah, the team has to keep grinding, but yeah, that's yeah, something you've you had to do this summer also to, just to get yourself healthy. Yeah, man, you got you to gotta keep grinding. Like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come a time in your life when you're going to feel like people are, um, I mean, everybody against you. So right now we just got to stay, stay together as a team. We don't, don't fall apart. We got to keep grinding and just uh, keep the mindset that we, we can still do it, like, no matter what. Like I said, nobody forgets November. What would be a successful ending to your story, your career here at UM, the way the season plays out, and how would you envision this? Well, we can't take the two losses away, so we finish out 12-2. What, what about you personally? What do you want to get done here? Right now, I just want to get back on that field first and make an impact, help the offense out as much as I can, special team, whatever, just get back. I feel like this is kind of a, a chance to show NFL guys, too, that your knee's fine. You're the same guy you were in the last three years. Yeah. yeah.